This is Canon's brand new 7D Mark II. It's the successor to their five-year-old 7D and comes with a raft of new improvements. Let's take a look at three of the key features. So probably the most important addition to the 7D Mark II is its ability to shoot at 10 frames per second. This is more than Canon's 5D Mark III and also Nikon's all new D750. And it's gonna be especially important if you're a sports or wildlife photographer and you need to capture fast moving objects with total accuracy. Like most DSLRs of this day and age, the 7D Mark II is built with video in mind as well as stills. It can shoot at 60 frames per second, which essentially means it's capable of slow motion shooting. It's also importantly got a headphone jack on the side as well as a microphone jack, which is especially good if you want to monitor audio whilst you're capturing it. Finally, the 7D Mark II comes with a 65 point autofocus. That's more than Nikon's D750, which has a 51 point autofocus, and Canon's 5D Mark III, which has a 61 point autofocus. Canon's original 7D was long overdue an upgrade, and the Mark II seems to offer most of the features that were missing. Obviously, its 10 frames a second shutter speed is gonna take the headlines, but personally, I do think it's important that Canon has included a headphone jack alongside the microphone jack for monitoring audio as you're recording. Elsewhere, the camera has a 20.2 megapixel sensor, an ISO range of 100 to 16,000, and can record 422 video straight from its HDMI port. It's due out in November, and for its body only, costs 1,600 pounds. We can't wait to get it into our Tesla. For more on Canon's 7D Mark II, Nikon's D750, and more from Photokina 2014, click on the links below.